G'day everyone, Lucas here from the Aussie Games Experience and today I've got another one of these videos where I play games on an RTX 3080. This is Ghost Runner, just released today, the 28th of October 2020. And uh, I'm playing through this and I've gone through a few levels and it's really good fun but it's hard. And this is where I'm up to, uh, so I don't really know how to do this section yet. So let's try and work it out, but at the same time, let's have a look at how it runs. Let's bring up the information. And we have 57C on the GPU, 61 on the CPU, 10 gigabytes of RAM used and running uh, DirectX 11. 144 frames per second. It's pretty cool. And the frame time is 9.5. This is maxed out settings. Let's have a look here. Uh, we've got uh, 1440p, DLSS is on, quality mode, post-processing is high, and then we've got epic, epic, epic for all the textures, shadows, and effects, material quality is high, epic for blur, I don't mind the, the blur, gore effect is on, frame rate limits off, v-sync is off, frame, uh, field of view, sorry, FOV is 85, uh, ray tracing is off. Okay, that's I am because I am running uh, DirectX 11, I believe. I think that's a DX12 thing. That might be something I might have to try. Maybe at the end of this video, if I don't do it, remind me in the comments, and uh, I'll apologise. <laughs> All right, let's have a look. Let's see if I can get through this section of the game. I'm using a controller because there's just way too many controls, and I suck at keyboard and mouse. All right. Now, it's very much a one-hit kill game, so if you get hit once by any of these projectiles, you are dead. Oh, like that. Alright. Let's try that again. Oh, it suck. <laughs> and it's one of those games where it really... Oh, what the hell did I just do? It is very sort of rinse and repeat just until you get it right. And just repeating it over and over again to work out the right way to do things is pretty much how I've been getting through as far as I have. Oh man. <laughs> I have no idea how long this is going to take me to get through. Wow, I pressed the wrong button then. That's very easy to do. And kind of that thing where if you keep failing, maybe try something different. Alright, we'll go over and get this guy. Dodge that. Oh crap. And you really need to keep moving. There we go, 140. It's keeping 144 FPS. So that's nice. No, that guy's got like rapid fire or something. Which I can use this. No. I've got this new ability in my the last. No, but I'm too far away to use it. Maybe I can jump and use it. Oh, <laughs> getting smashed. I think it's pretty much the same. What's hitting me there? Is it the guy from behind? Yeah, it is. Oh, he's reloading. Beautiful. Alright. Oh, crap! And I fell off the edge. I was doing so good just then. That was probably the best I did. Alright, I'll try it again. Oh, he's going to start firing. Oh. oh yeah, you can deflect bullets with the sword. I forgot about that. Oh. Oh, 
Right, this is probably going to need to be edited down with the amount of deaths that I'm having. So this game is really for those that uh, like a punish, because this is frustrating as hell. And it doesn't get any easier because it goes, oh, here's an extra set of moves that you can use to get through, and then it just makes it more complicated. Yeah, I've got all these fancy moves to use to help me beat these enemies, but it's just convoluted controls all over the place. If you're using a keyboard and mouse, look, well done. I'm left-handed, so it makes keyboard and mouse a lot harder for me because I'm using the wrong fingers to press the keys that were intended when they did the key mapping. Alright, I used so that extra move. Oh, I did it! Yes. Well, first I got them all. Have to get through the base, and wow, I wasn't even changed to... paying that much attention. You've this is gone. where I fall and have to do it again, eh? Alright, no, smashed it. Alright. But look, um, throughout that time, the uh, the frame rate sort of stayed nice and steady. We're doing 100 and... This is, uh, yeah, 1440p, 140 frames. Which is pretty there good. There is no law here anymore. Just the key. Yeah, so Ghost Runner is a bit of a... Well, it's a bit of a son of a bitch, really. It's it's a painful game to play. But it's very rewarding. When you do manage to pull off the section uh, that you're getting through, you feel like a mad ba badass. And when you do get it, no matter how sloppy it is, it looks like you knew what you're doing. Right, that worked. Uh, are we going up here? These factories. Everything they produce goes straight up to Dharma City. While the Keymaster and her lackeys live in luxury, we basers work our fingers to the bone our whole lives and don't see any of it. How did you survive? When I was little, we were given basic provisions, but each year we'd get less and less. If not for the black market, we would have all starved by now. The Keymaster keeps taking oh, that was while giving cool. nothing Nailed back. Nailed it first. Oh, shit. So you chose to fight. Not much of a choice, really. I to jump over this. Oh, I felt. What? You should see your Dharma City hydroponic farms uh, uh, I don't even know where to go. Alright, what I might do now is I might reboot this into DirectX 11 and turn ray tracing on. You'll see the differences. So we're at 144 FPS, mostly. Um, with the uh, core clock at 1995, just under 2000. 2 gigahertz. We'll uh, get ray tracing on and see how many frames we lose. Alright, we'll be back. Okay, I am back and we have ray tracing switched on now so right wait i had it on let's see if it stays on all right i'll double check that because i did just set it to on why is it turning off okay i keep turning tr ray tracing on and i keep going into the settings to check it and it defaulting to off again i don't know what's wrong with that that's weird. Anyway, I'm going to turn it on. I'm applying settings. Go back to the game. I don't know. Let's have a look. What's the performance like? We're at 104 FPS. 100. Well, I've definitely lost frames. So, maybe it is on. Yeah, lost about 40 frames. Alright, let's have a look at the light scatter. What is it? guessing that's probably a good place to look. Alright, we'll turn... We'll go back in here. It's off. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying it's not even turning ray tracing on. 
I don't have a lot of experience with ray tracing, so I don't know why it would be doing this. As the uh, 3080 is my first RTX card, I, I never experimented it, never had a 20 series card. Um, I'm sure DLSS shouldn't affect it. Try turning that off. lost more frames just probably because DLSS has it stayed off uh, yeah that's still off but ray tracing won't stay on well something has definitely changed though because the frame times are uh, double and the frames have dropped like 40 and it didn't save any of my progress that I Hello? did Jack, in that last section. Oh wow! I'm gonna do all this again. You wouldn't know. It's a code name we used that for sucks. you during the repair. Diego said you were on. Uh, there's a bit of stutter. Found you and it stuck. Do you mind if I call you that? I'm thinking no. this game may not be very well optimized just yet for ray tracing. Uh oh god. Oops. Hang on, can I survive from here? Am I meant to be allowed to be down here? Ah, screw it. There we go. Oh, the stuttering's kind of... Oh my god, I did it again. Right, I managed it that time. No, still stuttering. I'm not really paying attention to what to do here. I'm kind of annoyed that none of my progress was saved. Yeah, this isn't very playable. I don't like this stuttering business. I didn't buy a 3080 to stutter. Even if the uh, ray tracing is on, I don't even know. It's, it's very weird. But anyway, I think I'll finish up there. Uh, I don't know exactly what's going on uh, it's really strange but with ray tracing off and running DirectX 11 I was getting around 144 frames per second which is pretty good at 1440p uh, with frame times that are sub 10 milliseconds which uh, I think is good GPU temperatures are solid at 60 ish same with the CPU and it's uh, running pretty good. It's a good looking game. This game is, like I said before, terribly frustrating, but it's very rewarding. It's one of those kind of games. Uh, Mirror's Edge mixed with Dark Souls, just for the difficulty aspect. Uh, but once you get it down pat, yeah, you do. You feel like a, a real badass. So it's pretty cool. But anyway, thank you very much, everybody, for checking out this video. If you've got some questions, comments, or concerns, put them in the uh, comment section down below. Uh, I don't know how many more videos I'll be doing in this series. I, I think I've got at least two more in me, which will be uh, Watch Dogs Legion and eventually Cyberpunk 27, 2077. When that releases, delay after the delay after delay, but I'll definitely be doing videos on those ones with the 3080. Uh, but then beyond that, it will just be at your demand. If you guys want to see more of this let me know in the comments and if it's if people are keen enough i'll uh, i'll make some more but cheers thanks everyone don't forget to like comment and subscribe check out our weekly podcast it's all about video games comes out every sunday except for when it's not and you can find it on itunes stitcher iHeartRadio, google podcasts and or oh, just about everywhere including this youtube channel yeah i think that's about it as always, I am Lucas from the Aussie Gamers Experience, and until next time, I will see ya! What is this? This fucking game didn't save any of my progress. Do all that again, stupid thing.